Hello fellow cinephiles, Film Guru here. For those new, new to the channel, my name's Sean, also known as Film Guru, and I started this channel having a particular stay on movies and a variety of other film content, so thanks for joining me today. It's Well, it's that time of year again, Oscar nominations. Now there's a variety of interesting nominations this year, but they're very different. There's uniqueness about the uh, what's nominated this year and the type of films that have been coming out, and I kind of really like it. I'm very impressed with what they're giving us, because it is very different and refreshing in a lot of ways. Without further ado, here are my choices for or who's going to win the Oscar this year. Like I usually do, I'm not going to go through all the, the categories, just the main ones. So I'm going to start with adapted screenplays. These are a variety of interesting nominees here. But for me, I think Women Talking. Sarah Polly adapted this and wrote the screenplay. And I think this film's going to be really interesting. We haven't got it yet, but I, I do think her adaptation and her as a filmmaker is quite good. And I think she's going to provide us with a very interesting film that we don't know a lot about. She's my choice for best adapted screenplay. Now, original screenplay, this is a sort of different, difficult because you've got Todd Fields with Tar, you've got Brendan McDonough with Banshees of Insurance, but you've also got Everything Everywhere All at Once, the two Daniels. This is a very interesting choice. This to me is the most original film we've had this year and I really hope this wins. But her, the only competition is really going to be Martin McDonough in my opinion. Next category, cinematography. Now, the choices here are interesting but a little odd. There are some films I, I thought should have been here that aren't. For me, I, I would probably say Bardo because just because of what that, how they captured that film and the, what they did with it and how it looks. It's beautifully shot and very interesting. I think that might win. You've also got Empire of Light, which is, uh, Roger Deakins shot and Deakins stuff is always beautiful and wonderfully put together and I think he could win this. And I would love to see him win again, but I think they're gonna give it to somebody else. And I think it's gonna be Barter directing. Now there's some interesting choices here as well. Everybody's going on about The Fableman and Steven Spielberg. Look, The Fableman's was interesting, but I didn't think it was a great film. I don't know why everybody's sort of raving about it. If Spielberg wins, I'm gonna be a little bit disappointed. No, Tar's really well done. Todd Fields has, has given us a very interesting film. I didn't love, overly love this film either. And I, I think even though he's done a great job as director, it just didn't really sort of sucked me in and I wasn't that impressed, I wasn't as impressed with it as I think I could have or should have been. I really want to see the Daniels win for everything everywhere all at once. This is a wonderful film, it's about being kind, it's about hope, it's wonderfully put together. Some really high concept ideas and, and concepts in it and I think it's really really well done and it's the most original film I've had this year. Now, I really want to see them win. And I think the only person who's standing in their way is Martin McDonough, because he's a really great and talented director. We've seen that with Three Billboards and a variety of other films. And I think he does a really great job directing this film here. But yet again, it's not one of those films that haven't given me the oomph that I really wanted, even though I really enjoyed it and, and what he was able to do with it. So for me, I want the two Daniels to win, but I think Martin McDonough might win it this year. Next is Actress in a Supporting Role. There's some great nominees here. Jamie Lee Curtis is fantastic in Everything Everywhere All at Once. I think she's great in that performance and it's kind of a wild and wacky performance that she gives in that and I think she's great so she's definitely up there. But my money's on Kerry Condon for Banshees. I just think she's wonderful here. The way she plays off Colin Farrell and, and Brendan Gleeson's characters, um, the arc that her character has and the really great performance that she gives even though she's not in a lot of the film. She's just really wonderful to watch and she's definitely gives a great performance and she's my choice for winning Best Supporting Actress. Actor in a Supporting Role. I think there's some great, there's been some great performances this year. I've enjoyed a lot of them. I would really love to see Key win. I think his performance in Everything Everywhere All at Once is great and I would love to see him win. But I, but I think Brendan Gleeson is my choice in, in regards to, to Best Supporting Actor. I think he's great in the film and I just really love his portrayal of this particular character. Actress in a lead role. All the nominees here, all the, the actresses do a fantastic job and give us some really wonderful characters. Anna de Armas is really great as Marilyn. I think she gives a really solid performance and probably one of the best performances of her career. I think she's great here. I really want Michelle Yeoh to win for Everything Everywhere all, all at Once. I think she's a fantastic actress. I've been a fan of hers a long time. She gives a really great performance here. Not only just playing one version of a character, but multiple. And what she does differently in each of those universes that she appears and the character 
And the version of that character that she's playing is just astonishing and wonderful to watch in a real creative career defining role for her in many ways. I think the only person who's standing in her way is Kate Blanchett in Tar, who's fantastic in that film. She's so great in it. She's a powerhouse. She shows how skillful she is as an actress. And she's really probably the best thing about that film. And it's a really difficult one for me, this, this one, but I really want to see Michelle Yeoh win, but I think it might go to Kate Blanchett. Best actor in a lead role. Wow. Yet again, some great performances. Austin Butler as Elvis is really astonishing to watch. Colin Farrell and Banshees is really great and I think he does a fantastic job. Bill Nye has been nominated, which is fantastic because he's been such a great actor for a long time. It's good to see that. My pick and my hope is Brendan Fraser wins for the wow. He deserves it. He's such a great and humble and wonderful actor. And he gives us such a wonderful, from what I've seen of the trailers, I haven't seen this film yet, but from what I've seen, he gives such a powerful and layered performance that I really think he deserves to win because I think he's brilliant in it. And I think his only competition is going to be Austin Butler and Colin Farrell. Um, both of them are give really wonderful and powerful performances as well, but I really want Brendan Fraser to win, so I'm going with Brendan Fraser. Best picture. This is odd for me. They feel like they've just chucked in films as filler without actually nominating them for any other categories. Like, yes, we do have a Best Adapted Screenplay for Sarah Polly's Women Talking, but it's been nominated for Best Picture. It just feels like they've slumped it in without really considering it. Top Gun Maverick, which I really loved and is a very fun and entertaining film. It's an interesting choice to put in here. Avatar, Way of Water, really? Okay. Um, I didn't love that either, to tell you the truth, but um, okay. Banshees is solid and great. Elvis is really interesting as well. But Everything Everywhere All At Once, this is a film I want to win. I feel it's like when Del Toro won for Shape of Water. It's a defining choice and it would be interesting if it did win, how it would open up the doors for much more interesting films, like just because of it. And other films in a similar vein, the Oscars have broadened their choices, which we'd never seen before, which is really exciting and interesting to see. But I, I really think that Everything Everywhere All At Once was the best film and it's really wonderfully done and I really hope it does win. I think it's only competition is Banshees and Elvis, but I'm going, my choice is Everything Everywhere All At Once. That's all my choices for nominations this year. Be interesting to see who does win, um, but these are the choices and performances and films that I think deserve most of the awards this year. Just a quick note, I'm going to be starting to do something a bit different with this channel and focusing more on older films than newer ones and just sort of talking more analytically or more analysing movies than just doing a basic review. Rather doing a basic review which I'm kind of getting a little bored with. But anyway, I'll keep you updated with that and let you know when that change will happen. Anyway, that's all from me today. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please hit subscribe down the bottom. Follow me at Letterboxd and Facebook. Otherwise, until next time, enjoy the movies.